flooding, a catastrophic event that could cause communities a lot of grief. Here in New Jersey, we have seen far too many in the past decade, and with the climate changing, we can only expect to see more rainfall in the future. Are you an engineer who seeks a product that's simple, exhibits the lowest head loss on the market, and provides 100% backflow prevention? Are you a contractor who's looking for easy installation and quick lead times? Or are you a municipality who seeks low cost of ownership and little to no maintenance? What if I told you we have an ingenious engineered solution and a professional team with a competitive edge that helps anticipate and control the potential losses due to flooding? Our staff has decades of municipal and industrial manufacturing process experience combined with in-depth knowledge and customer know-how. We proudly represent 40 premier companies that manufacture and supply innovative solutions that are reliable and economical for lifetime value. DHA has emerged as a manufacturer representative leader by carefully selecting manufacturers to partner with that is why we are thrilled to represent WAPRO. Come on in. And take a seat. Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Dave Heiner Community Diner. My name is Ryan, and I am part of the sales team here at DHA. We are very excited that you're here, and we hope that you find this presentation educational, informative, and valuable. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you here now to Gabe Letterman and his presentation titled, Holding Back the Flood. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. Welcome to WAPRO, Holding Back the Flood. Today we'll be talking about the WAPRO WASTOP inline check valve. The functionality of the WASTOP inline stormwater check valve is very simple. In the normal position, it is closed. When there is water behind the valve, the valve will open. And when the water behind the valve starts to slow down, the valve will close, simply working on differential pressure. Here's the function of the valve. The valve is inserted into the pipe and water starts to build up behind the valve. The valve will open, allowing the water to flow out of the pipe network. When the water level drops to a certain pressure behind the membrane, the valve will close. When the valve is closed, it will prevent water from backing up into the pipe. Because of the buoyancy of the membrane, the valve will still function when it is submerged, provided that the differential pressure is higher on the upstream side. And when the Water recedes on the downstream side, the valve will open and allow the water to flow out. This open and closing of the membrane causes a pulsating flow, which ensures that the pipes both upstream and downstream are kept clear of debris. The valves are made of a superior construction of 316 and 304 stainless steel. We also have a line of PVC valves as well for different applications. We have many uh, standard sizes uh, in our stainless steel line, ranging from four inch to 72 inch, both standard and non-standard pipe sizes. In PVC, the range is from three inch to eight inch. The valves are very fast and easy to install. They have the lowest head loss amongst inline check valves on the market. And in addition to preventing liquid from backing up, the WASTOP check valve will also prevent gas, odor, and insects, as well as other small animals from entering the pipe system. Part of the operation of the WASTOP check valve is the pulsating flow. As you can see here, a regular flap gate style valve over time will have sand or other debris that may get built up inside of the valve and preventing it from closing. 
When this valve is unable to close, water can enter the pipe network. This, this is what happened at this particular location in Sweden. I'm replacing the flap valve with a WASTOP check valve. This prevented the sand from building up in front of the outfall pipe so that water would not back up. As you can see on the picture on the right, you can see the, uh, let's call it the, the well that is almost created in front of the valve. Uh, due to the pulsating flow, when the water comes out of the pipe end, it comes out in a flushing action. And this is the flushing action that we saw in the previous video. This is what helps to keep both the upstream and the downstream side of the pipe clean and clear of debris. So that rush of water, as you can see coming out in the center photo, uh, helps to keep the area downstream clean. So therefore, the valve can then close and prevent the tidal water from backing up and flooding the pump station. The WASTOP check valve also has the lowest head loss of its competitors on the market. Here is a comparison of a 12-inch WASTOP inline check valve comparing to another 12-inch inline check valve. Here you can see at a flow rate of 2,500 gallons per minute that the head loss on the WASTOP check valve was approximately 65% lower than our competitor's valve. The reasons for the lower head loss are because of the stainless steel housing of the valve. This is no more uh, than one eighth of an inch thick uh, from all of our sizes uh, from four inch to 72 inch. Um, this allows for a uh, minimal uh, amount of restriction inside of the pipe and the less restriction inside of the pipe, you keep truer to the actual ID of the pipe and allow for more water to flow through. And because the membrane is so flexible, uh, it will open to almost 90% of the diameter of the valve body. Uh, this also allows for more water to flow through the valve than through uh, our competitor's valve. And the WASTOP valve will not create a step inside the pipe greater than a quarter of an inch. Uh, this is uh, very, very important because what this does is when you restrict the size of the pipe, you are increasing the amount of head loss uh, through the pipe. So by not having a larger step inside of the pipe will also contribute to lower head loss. One of the other benefits of the WASTOP check valve is the light weight of the valve. As you can see here, these duckbill style valves, uh, the weight of those on the ends of the pipe uh, cause those pipes to, to crack. Um, these were 24 inch uh, duckbill valves. Um, our valves uh, on this pipe uh, were would have weighed 106 pounds versus the uh, duckbill valves. Uh, our valves are anywhere between a half to a third of the weight of other check valves on the market. So when you look at aging infrastructure, uh, where you may have older styles of pipe, uh, possibly clay pipe or, or structures that may be very fragile, the weight of a valve can play a very important role in designing and uh, rehabilitating the infrastructure. The lightweight also allows for the valve to be easily maneuvered. Um, two people could easily probably install up to a, a 30 inch valve without the use of, of any equipment uh, should the outfall or the pipe be accessible. Here you can see a 32 inch check valve being installed in Sweden. Uh, as we talked about earlier with regards to the weight of the valve, here you can see two people uh, have inserted the valve into the pipe. And you can see that the mounting tabs have been uh, bent backwards over the reinforced concrete pipe end and fastened directly to it. This will hold the valve in place inside of the pipe. Here is a, an installation in Brick Township, New Jersey, where the valve was delivered to the Public Works Department. And we had an on-site demonstration of how the valve was going to be installed in the outfall end. 
Uh, the public works team who was installing the valve wanted to be sure that uh, they knew the best practices to install the valve when they actually did get it out to the outfall and in the water. Uh, so we gave them a, a small demonstration in their public works yard, and they were able to then take the valve out to the site and complete the installation on their own. Here's a outfall pipe in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, here you can see the check valve installed into reinforced concrete pipe. And you can see the mounting tabs have been secured directly to uh, the wall thickness of the pipe. Uh, the pipe end obviously there was cut away to clean it up for the installation. As you can see, the, the black gasket between the pipe ID and the valve body OD, that is the rubber sealing gasket that is included with the valve. This will create the seal between the host pipe and the outside diameter of the valve. This will prevent any leaking or backflow from uh, entering into the pipe system. This is an installation in Ocean City, Maryland, uh, which was part of their hazard mitigation grant program. Uh, this was a project that was fully funded uh, through the, I believe it was the county and the state uh, in Maryland, um, where the project was located. So the city put out a bid for check valves. Uh, WAPRO was the uh, aw awarded supplier for the valves. And in working with the town engineer, as well as the awarded contractor, uh, we're able to complete the installation of 17 valves throughout different parts of Ocean City. And again, this is a, a key project for them as Ocean City, uh, one of the barrier, barrier island in Maryland, a resort town, uh, very susceptible to flooding and very reliant upon tourism. So it's very important that they maintain a good drainage network. This is a, a treatment plant in Depew, New York. Here you have along the river some outfall pipes and when the when they would get heavy rains or snow melts, what would happen here is that the water would come back up into the treatment plant and cause flooding throughout the treatment plant. The installation of some WASTOP inline check valves in those outfall pipes have then since prevented the flooding from occurring at the treatment plant. Since that time, several other locations throughout the plant have been retrofitted with various size WASTOP check valves to mitigate other flooding problems that they were experiencing. Thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoyed our presentation on the WASTOP inline check valve. If you would like more information, please do visit our website at wapro.com, where you can download drawings, technical specifications, and get any other information that you may require. Thank you so much, Gabe, for your presentation. Great as always. We really appreciate everything you do for us. Um, so we're going to have a Q&A here with Gabe. If you guys have any questions, please ask. He will answer them thoroughly for you and take advantage of this. He's in-house here with us today. At the end, we're going to give away one of these swag bags, which we have done at the prior diners. Very exciting. A couple people out there gotten that swag bag, and they're very happy with what's inside. Call me for a free evaluation. I'll be happy to come out. Um, any inquiry you have about WAPRO, I'm the rep for, for WAPRO here at DHA, and, I, and I'll be happy to help you guys. Um, so please follow us on Instagram. Come to our website. Follow us on LinkedIn. We really appreciate it. So I want to thank you guys one more time for coming out. It's been a pleasure having you, and I really look forward uh, to speaking with you guys in the future. I'll be looking out for you. Take care.